morning to everyone. Uh, so we are going to start this hybrid session that we have a webinar in uh, in Zoom, and we also have some people attending in uh, here in, in BSC. So this is uh, uh, well uh, uh, a tutorial for uh, what we have done in the eFlows for HPC project uh, during the the first uh, part of the project, and we are going to introduce the the HPC workflow yeah then uh, we are going to introduce to what we have implemented in the project that is the the HPC workflow as a service uh, concept and and the eFlows for HPC software stack so the overview for uh, this morning is that I will start with an overview of the of the project and and the and the motivation of our uh, tools then there will be a first session that it will present the flows for HPC software stack and the HPC workflow as a service, where we will see the different parts of the, of the stack. And then there will be a, a second session about other software components and how they have been used in the, in the project. And finally, we will finish with a, a hands-on session uh, to just test a, a little bit the, the, with simple examples the, the what we have uh, implemented. So the eFlows for HPC project, uh, it's trying to, to, well, it's a, a Euro HPC uh, project that is uh, funded by the European Commission and, and different countries. And we have uh, 16 partners in the consortium and it is coordinated by the, the BSC. And the, the goal of the, of the of the project is to provide a European uh, workflow platform. I'm going to hide one thing. Yeah. So that enables the design of, of complex application, trying to integrate HPC uh, uh, processes with data analytics and artificial intelligence, and enabling the accessibility and reusability of the of different workflows and reduce the, the time to solution. For this, what we uh, propose is a, 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 a workflow software stack, and also uh, that provides different tools to manage uh, uh, workflows in, in HPC system. And then there is a, a, a concept that for an interface to provide uh, access to these uh, workflows as, as a service, and there is another part that about architectural optimizations uh, for different architectures. And all of these uh, concepts that we pro uh, and methodologies that we uh, do in the project are validated by, by three pillars that are uh, more or less representing different user communities. And we have the pillar one that is about digital things for manufacturing. Then there is the pillar two that is for, for climate uh, modeling. And uh, a third uh, pillar that is about urgent computing. So, uh, why we provide, uh, have uh, tried to do this uh, this approach about the HPC workflow as service and, and the software stack is because uh, currently, when uh, there is a user community that uh, provide, uh, has been granted to to have access to one HPC site. They have the workflow developers have to in, uh, deploy the, 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 the services or their workflows manually and also sometimes uh, requiring to, to do some installations from the system administrator. So this is a, a very uh, slow uh, thing that, that, uh, that it has to be uh, repeated when we have uh, a second access to a second site, we have to do the same for a second site and again deploy the things and when they are deploying sending to the users how to access to this system and, and, and how to execute the, the, the workflow. So what we propose, well if we want to do also use some cloud infrastructure, we have to do the same. Uh, in the current approach, what we try is that the the, the workflow developers uh, access to or register the workflows to the HPC workflow as a service uh, um, service and then once they have registered and deployed they can share just a, a, a URL 
to uh, submit the, 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 the executions without requiring to, to do a lot of manual steps. So the, this workflow service is working with the software stack to provide this automation in the, and the, of the deployment and execution in the, in the HPC systems as well. So this is more or less uh, the motivation. So I'm going to present a, a little bit the, the software stack that we, we have implemented or integrated in the, in, the, in the project. This stack is uh, uh, divided in several layers. There is a first layer about the, the, the implementation and the, the, the composition of the operating workflows, composing HPC data analytics and machine learning. And for doing this, we propose to, to use three, uh, three models or, or um, um, uh, that one is the, the PyConf programming model to implement what we will see later. Then there will be an extended Tosca description for the deployments. And then there is also the data logistic pipelines to do data mm -hmm. movement, to the specify data movements that are required in the workflow. Then there is a second uh, uh, layer that is for providing accessibility and, and reusability of the workflow that we have the, the HPC workflow as service interface. And then we have a set of catalogs that are uh, providing us a way to reuse the different components that we use in the in the workflow. We have the data catalog to register data the data sets. Uh, then we have the workflow registry to, to store the workflow descriptions, the software catalog to also describe the different uh, HPC kernels or simulators, HPDA frameworks or machine learning frameworks that we can use in the workflows. And then we also uh, have a model repository to store the uh, different uh, machine learning models that have been trained or or and or used by the by the workflow. So then, in the in the last layer, what we have is the is the layer that uh, provides the, the the deployment, the the execution, and data management. And here we have the components for image creation to create the container images. The GC orchestrator that is orchestrating the, the, the whole life cycle of the workflow in mm -hmm. the infrastructure. And then we have the PyCom runtime, Unicore, and data logistics service, the Q1 data clay to manage the, the, the execution and the data management during the, the when every time that the, the workflow is, is executed. So this uh, software stack is deployed in, in uh, or organized in this way. Some of these uh, components are deployed uh, as services that what we call gateway services that are deployed outside the computing infrastructure. And what they are doing is managing the external inter uh, interactions of the workflow life cycle with the, with the, um, uh, with the architecture. Then we have a second uh, uh, group of components that are deployed uh, with the workflow in the computing infrastructure that are the runtime components, that is the, the Python runtime or the or the Q1 data clay uh, runtimes that are um, deployed together with the different HPC or HPDA or machine learning uh, frameworks that are used in, in the workflow. And they are deployed in the in the computing infrastructure. So that's this is like to give you an overview of how uh, the, the development works. So we have the, uh, the workflow developer that uh, creates the workflow, defining the, first the, 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 well, the, the data pipelines that are the description of the data movements that are required uh, to, to, to deploy or to execute the, the workflow. Then we have the, the, the PyCom code that is the implementation of the computational workflow as a simple uh, Python script. And, and, and we have the Tosca description that what is uh, doing is creating a, a, a defining the topology of the components that are uh, composing a workflow and they are, uh, and the, the, the life cycle, uh, well, the relationship uh, in the different parts of the life cycle. So once it has the, uh, implemented this uh, this workflow, it is stored in the in the workflow registry, and it can use the Alien for Cloud uh, component that is one of the interfaces of the HPC workflow as a service that uh, to deploy the, the the service that 
this will and you can retrieve the, the workflow from the registry and deploy in a in infrastructure. Once you have deployed the infrastructure, you can share it with the uh, the final users that they will use an execution API of the HPC workflow and service interface that will be used to execute the, the workflow. So, and more or less, this is the overview. So what we are going to see right now is that we are going to, to follow more or less uh, the, the explanation of, of the different tools following a, 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 what we call the minimal workflow. That is a, a simple example that is covering more or less all the functionality. And what we are uh, doing basically, it's we are uh, transferring uh, some data that is uh, some input data of the workflow that is in external repositories to the to the HPC uh, in the shared system of the HPC, and then uh, perform a, a, a computation, a Python workflow inside this HPC system. And for doing this, we will see also uh, how we create the images and the and how uh, we describe the the, the Tosca uh, description. Uh, we will start with the, this first uh, part that the with the, 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 the workflow uh, implementation, then we will see the image creation. After that, we will see the, the data logistic pipelines. And finally, we will see the, the part of the toast and the orchestration. So this is more or less the, the overview of the, of the session. I don't know if there are questions in the chat or here. If not, I will follow with the...